Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are very happy to have you here uh, for the ITC and eScience Center joint mini symposium on sustainable software development for geoinformation science and earth observation. Um, my name is Serkan Girgin. Uh, I'm a senior researcher at ITC, and I am also leading the activities of the Center of Expertise in Geodata Science. Today, I will be the facilitator uh, of the symposium. Uh, so um, I will tell a little bit more about the organizational aspects. But before that, I want to, um, I want to um, ask uh, our uh, dean of the faculty, uh, Professor uh, Frank Van der Meer, to have the welcoming speech. Thank you, uh, thank you, Serkan. OK, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can hear me. I hope also the people online can actually also hear and see me and see us. Um, it's, uh, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome you to the mini symposium on sustainable research so software development for geoinformation science and earth observation. I actually don't know why you call it a mini symposium because I think it should be a maxi symposium because this is really a key topic for ITC. Also, if we want to really make through our mission and vision uh, that we have established, we really need to develop more research software to actually develop our mission. So maybe we call it a maxi symposium next time. next time. But maybe it's mini because it's all very condensed and everybody gives us very short talks. So uh, welcome to this uh, mini symposium. Also welcome to the University of Twente. I see many familiar faces and some faces that are not familiar. So let me uh, tell you a few words about our university. So University of Twente is one of the four technical universities in the Netherlands. Uh, um, our slogan is high tech human touch. It used to be high tech human touch, which really uh, uh, implies two things. One, that we cover quite a broad range of topics in this university, all the way from social sciences into nanotechnology. So it's really technology and also social sciences in our uh, expertise domain. But the other, other reason we talk about high tech human touch is that we really try to co-create with society. So our, our mission is really focused on co-creating transdisciplinary type of education and research involving society. Also welcome to the faculty of ITC. ITC was established in 1950s as International Training Center, that's where the ITC stands for, on aerial survey. And, and at that time, our mission was really to help many countries around the world developing a basic infrastructure on topographic data, geological data. So we collaborated a lot with topographic survey organizations in, in many countries all over the world. And we were established as part of the Dutch contribution to the United Nations Official Development Assistance Program, which is basically capacity development, which is what we did in the past and what we do today. Our, our academic field has evolved, geoinformation, science and earth observation. It's now also the, the challenges we're working on have quite evolved over time. We work really on, on using earth observation and spatial uh, processes to try to understand global processes, global phenomena, to develop local scenarios and local actions for these phenomena. So think about climate-related disasters, think about smart cities, think about digital twins, this, this kind of uh, environments we're working on. And our mission was, and it still is, capacity development, so we do work very internationally uh, all over the world. And we have a big footprint, particularly, I would say, in Africa and in Asia, and we're very proud of that. I'm also proud to start this collaboration with the uh, Netherlands eScience Center, and I quote from... Uh, from the, the website of the center, the Netherlands East Science Center builds and applies software in a collaborative manner to enhance the use of compu computing and digital technologies in academic research. I think that's really very important and very helpful for, for us, ITC, as, as geoinformation scientists and Earth observation people. And when I see that the focus is on, on awarding uh, research pros uh, projects to train researchers in the use of research software and developing software. I think there is a lot of complementarity between what the eScience Center does and what ITC does. 
and think particularly when you think about our ambitions on deep learning, big data analytics, and cloud computing. There, I think we have a natural match, but also our ambitions in open science and our ambitions in developing more digital uh, solutions in education. I think these are areas where I hope we can find uh, strategic collaboration. So I hope this day uh, will also sort of fuel this idea to have a more strategic collaboration between uh, the Science Center and, and IPC. And I look very much forward to see what comes out of this and how we can sustain this in a, in a, in a, in a, a strategic way, which is beneficial to both of our organizations, of course. Uh, so uh, it's really about the developing these kind of win-win scenarios today. And uh, I hope that the mini symposium will facilitate that as a start of a maxi collaboration. So that I would hope to achieve. Um, f let me also thank the organizers. I, I only know Serkan has been an organizer, but I'm sure there are many other people that have been involved in organizing and people that will present their ideas here today. So upfront already, thanks for your efforts in this. Um, I cannot join the whole mini symposium, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, my tasks are also not so much in developing software. Huh? <laughs> so I'm not sure I can in depth collab uh, contribute a lot to this symposium, but I have other things on my plate for today. But I wish you a wonderful day. Uh, you didn't bring the best weather to the Netherlands and to Enschede, but uh, I hope that bes besides the weather, there will be wonderful presentation and, uh, and, uh, and a good start uh, for more collaboration, I think. So with that, Good luck with the symposium, and I give back to to, to Serkan. So, thank you very much.